New at 10, a Southeast Texas cold case more than 30 years old is back in the spotlight tonight. In 1991, Vider police officers found the body of Kathy Page, and they've been searching for her killer ever since. Her death was recently featured in a popular national podcast, Crime Junkies. Victoria Emard tonight looking back on her death and the decades of investigations that have followed. Two billboards, one demand. Justice for Kathy Page. James Fulton is Kathy's father, and he's the man behind the infamous billboards in Vider. For 20 years, he's been paying for them, hoping someone will come forward with information about his daughter's death. The billboards are definitely getting attention. Martin McDonough, a British film writer and director, spotted the billboards several years ago. They inspired his 2017 Oscar-winning film, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. And now, the case is again getting national attention. The popular true crime podcast, Crime Junkie, featured Paige's case. Figuratively, and in this case literally, all signs seem to point to one man as the killer. This is the story of Kathy Page. The episode breaks down the details of Page's murder. She was found dead in her car, just a few feet from her home. Investigators concluded that this was no car crash. Page was beaten, and her official cause of death was strangulation. It's been well documented that police were immediately suspicious of Page's estranged husband, Steve. But in July of 1991, Vider police do release a statement that Steve is their prime and only suspect. And that is still true today. Vider police say Steve Page remains the only suspect. Steve was held liable for Kathy's death in a civil trial in 1999, but investigators say there's still not enough evidence to bring criminal charges. Chief Rod Carroll, who took over the Vider Police Department five years ago, says they've tested all the physical evidence they can with new technology. But he believes the key to cracking the case will come from something else. Someone needs to come forward and tell us what they've heard over the years from the, the suspect and from the suspect's friends that were involved in the cover-up. Police are still hopeful that the episode can generate new leads. Information or any spotlights is put on this crime, you know, resonates it. Kathy's father, James Fulton, declined to interview, but he is grateful Crime Junkie highlighted his daughter's case. He hopes that renewed interest could put pressure on the police or the district attorney to move forward. That's why Fulton continues to pay for the billboards and plans on doing so until his death. James believes that he has no choice until progress is made in the case. This is a father's love for his daughter, and that's the way I look at it. There is a $50,000 reward, the largest in Texas Crime Stoppers history. Chief Carroll urges anyone with information to come forward and emphasize that you can stay anonymous. Victoria Emard, 12 News.